building a brand, whether you're a realtor, you're a social worker, you're an entrepreneur, you're a student, whatever it is, you have to realize that your brand can be built so easily on social media. It can also be shot down, which is probably another conversation to have at another point, but you have to let people into your life. It's really, really bizarre, but when you decide to enter the world of promotional sales, literally whether you're selling yourself, your services, maybe you wanna go sell a shirt, maybe the shirt has your name on it, you have to be willing to go and let people into your life and you have to be consistent. The mother of all learning is repetition. And you have to realize that what people see about you online is what they expect in person. And at the very beginning of my career, something that came to just like haunt my dreams is most people would say, Rogers, you're misunderstood. You're not what I expected. And it's because online I was given this persona that I was this like highfalutin, you know what, I was cocky. And my ego led my drive to where I wanted to rather have a thousand followers than a thousand dollars. So get, get consistent with it, get persistent with it, and build a routine around social media that revolves around you and your personal brand. And over the course of time, it'll be like, you came out of nowhere. No, it took me 20 years to get there. You came out, it took a year, right? Get consistent with it and follow people that actually walk the walk and talk the talk versus the jokers. And if you see somebody who's got a photo of them with one leg out of a car, it's not their car. They're probably a valet parker at night, which is great. They're grinding, but they need to let people into the fact that they're a valet parker versus faking it. You can fake it enough until you get to a point where you actually need to let people in. And that to me is a massive key to social media success.